you know, that we got some experience coming back, so it should be. You know, those guys were young. You know, the last couple of years they've been out there battling around. They're a little bit on the young side, but now they're a little bit more mature group and a little bit uh, more experienced group. And we're you know, probably got several juniors and seniors now. You know, the last couple of years we haven't been real senior laden. You know, I mean, Nader was senior last year, and he's the only one we had. So it's good. I mean, they're they're a mature group and. Uh, I think they have a pretty good idea of what they want to do, and, and uh, they've been really uh, good this spring as far as work ethic and uh, studying film. And you know, anytime you get an experienced group, you want to try and you know take it to the next level as far as becoming you know real students of the game and you know fine tuning any skills that you might have. And I think they've done a pretty good job of that. You know, I think you know. I think we've got a pretty good idea because the, most of the guys have played, so we have pretty good. You know, usually you go into spring and want to come out knowing who your, you know, eight best are. Yeah. You're too deep, and you know we have a pretty good idea. You know about the talent, what they're capable of doing. So, you know, I think with this group, I think we want to see a, a group that uh, probably, I guess, it would be one thing to dominate. You know, I think that's what a, this group's going to have to do. I think for us to be. You know, a good defense. I think the front's going to have to become uh, dominant, and I think they're going to have to be uh, disruptive. You know, all the things that you know, you, you watch good defensive linemen, and you know that's what they do. So, you know, just take it to the next level, and, and uh, you know, keep working like they're working, and you know, be team members, and do a great job as far as helping out the back end. You know, they're a little bit younger. The front was young for the last couple of years, and the back end helped them out. And, mm -hmm. and you know, I think they got to take over a little leadership role, and you know. Make sure we're keeping this thing together as a team and unit and all those things. Well, when I asked Cameron at the end of practice today, he says the worst practice he ever had. If you got the, if you know Cameron, he's never satisfied. He's terrible year, terrible day, terrible <laughs> practice. Ter you know, he can get three sacks and it's the worst uh, drill he's ever been in. So that's kind of he's never satisfied, and that's probably what makes him what he is. But he's, I think he's a lot more uh, locked in this year. Um, he had a good freshman year, and you know came on last year at the end, played well. I think this uh, off season he's had a refocus. It's really been good. I think he's he's really got some uh, high goals for himself this year. I think he's gonna I think he's gonna show up. Yeah, you know he's working on becoming an every down guy, a run defender. You know he's a good pass rusher, and he's got to become a great run defender. And he knows that. He's that's what he's working on. He's trying to become a better, uh, exactly what you said, every down player. And I know that's what his goal is. And he, shoot, he texts me about every other hour, and you know, what can he do to become a better run defender? So he's really working on that. And and uh, you know he's uh, wow, he's working hard to become good. Yeah, we have we have the potential. I mean, the potential doesn't go nowhere. We got to be able to go out there and perform. I mean, we have fast guys, strong guys, guys that know the system. So we go out there and we, we compete um, in practice, and we get our O line better, and we all just gr just grow. I think we we definitely have the potential. We want to be known. I mean, known to the to the point where we uh, we leave a mark here. I mean, we all been here for a long time. We all know the program. We're, we're older guys, and we have Thaddeus and Cameron and Dexter, who's uh, juniors, who are great athletes. So we want to be able to to leave something here. Like when we left, we we left, and we want to be remembered and kind of missed. They're getting better every practice. I mean, really every drill. I mean, it'll be uh, one inside at the beginning of the uh, practice where they're, they're not doing too well, and by the end of the practice, you can tell they have it down. They got more confident. They're just a little bit young. Mike Adams is very, very talented, very, very quick, and I feel like uh, sky's the limit for that kid. So it's just the, the point where they get in there and get a little bit more comfortable, and they're gonna be they're gonna be great. Oh, born. And he's he's a monster. He's a man of the most boy. He's he's really a very very physical physical uh, offensive line. Really one of our most physical offensive line that ever ever I ever went against. Um, born is a good friend of mine. We always tease and we always compete against each other. And I love going against him because he's a big bowling ball, strong as an ox. Born is born is something to, something to deal with definitely. I think possibly, you know, we're, we're making strides, you know, try to be the best that we can be. And, and right now, D-line is playing really well. Yeah, 
was, it was definitely tough because you know I'm, I'm human. I'm, I'm only 21 years old, so you know it, it gets it gets hard. But I always have my teammates, I have my coaches around me all the time in my ear, and my parents. You know, we have a, we have a great following at Ohio State, so you know the fans are always always there. And Definitely, and it's going to take a lot of work. Uh, that's why I'm, you know, going hard this, this spring and just working on everything that uh, the coach said I'm going to work on. Uh, how was it today, Coach? What do you think I need to work on tomorrow? Uh, how do I look today? Uh, how was my hand play out today? You know, just picking this mind, picking this brain, just uh, help me. Play some shooting for uh, most, most definitely. Uh, you know, uh, I talked to Brian a lot, and you know, just picking his mind will help me out also. So, yeah, that's that's definitely a goal. It's not, you know, just just uh, just knowing the play. The, the play is called, um, you know, uh, it, it basically tells you when you can be aggressive and when not to. Uh, you know, uh, we have a, you know, uh, a good feel of things uh, like what we want to run this and everything. So, just just knowing that to a T and just being comfortable and playing. Themselves. I'm just. Realizing what it takes to be a great defensive front, uh, just watching film from the NFL and kind of learning from NFL players what they do to become great. We watch a lot of Pittsburgh Steelers. They were the Super Bowl champions with a great defensive front. And just kind of learning what they do and kind of trying to transfer that to what we do out there on the practice field and that will relate to what we do on the game field. I don't really know. It's a matter of just when I had my senior meeting with Coach Trestle this winter, he kind of mentioned it to me. He said, hey, we might need you in certain situations on offense. And I told him, that's great. Just let me know. And they kind of worked me in the spring, gave me a black jersey to play both sides. And I'm trying to do what I can do to help the team. Absolutely. I mean, that's kind of what we were talking about earlier about the defensive line dominating. If we dominate up front, it's going to take a lot of pressure off the guys on the back end. And with them being a young group, we're going to need to do everything we need to do to, to do that, whether it's getting after the passer, stopping the run. Just everything that we can do will help out the defense that much more.